Assalamu alaikum, dear all. Hope you are doing great. I'm also fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. This is Muhammad Ashik in front of you again with a new video. That is a brand new video about the very interesting topic, which is decimal to binary conversion. So let's get into start it. Like uh, today, we will see how can we get the binary digit which will be converted into binary from decimal. Like the number that we are observing now, two, three, four, or it can be one, two, three, or it might be two, two, five sometimes. No problem at all. These are the numbers which is called decimal. These are the decimal numbers, but the fact is, computer cannot read these numbers that we are seeing now whenever we input something into the computer like one two three then the number is being converted into the binary binary doesn't looks like the common number for the people like for the common people but it is really easy for the computers that can read binary and binary means zero and one these two numbers are called binary together so we will try to see that we will not go to the deep of binary discussion what is binary and how it works we won't go for it but we will try to get the exact point how can we convert decimal to binary and then after completing this one we must try to convert the decimal sorry binary to decimal so first of all we must need to remember one thing here we can note down these numbers one two eight sixty four thirty two 16 which is the half of the first number and if we go to the right side then we have to multiply this one let's see for two one these are the exact numbers exactly we have to remember this sequence if we want to be master on binary that means converting into binary to decimal decimal to binary so together these eight numbers are called as octet by being amalgamated of these eight bits we are getting an octet so let's see if we are going through the number like zero 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 and zero it means the value of these all zeros are zero and if we do convert everything or if we do go through for the number one instead of zero or these eight digits or eight bits then we have to find out what it means let's see one so eight ones means two five five how oh. how this result comes to us let's see like uh, we can highlight this one like this and this one too okay so whenever we are going to add one after another that means the plus sign will be added before all this like if we go to the 128 plus 64 then the number will be 192 and if we go to the 192 to 30 then the number will be 224 and if we add 16 more then the number will be 240 if we go for another eight then two for eight another four two five two 
and then the last two and th one, that means three, will be added there, and the final number will be 255. So these are the exact things that when we do go to give all zeros, then the result is zero. And if we go through the all ons, that means each ones in on octet, then the result will be 255. So how can we convert two, three, four into the decimal? That means decimal to the binary. Let's see. So if we want to add two, three, four, then we must call one, two, eight. Then we will put one if the number should be added or if the if there is any value, then that will be one. And if there is no value, then the number will be zero. One. Now we have got 128. So to read two four three two three four, we have to add few more things. Let's see. If we add 64 more with 128, it means we have to go to 192. Let's go here, 128. And if we go to this one, then this one will be 192. And then if we will add, 32 then the result or the number of this one not in third base will be 224 so which has not been crossed 234 yet so we will add here one and then here will be 224 and if we go through the 16, then the result or the number will be 240, which will cross 234. Here we have to remember that we cannot cross the number, but we cannot cross the number. Remember on thing again, we cannot cross the number, but it can be less than that because we are going to find the exact number 234. So let's put zero here as far we thought. Then two, two, four, because no number has been added yet. And here as we have got two, two, four, then if we do add eight more, then the number will be two, three, two. It means we can this one with us and we can collect number eight then the result will be two three two and then go to the next number which is four if we go to collect number four then the result will be two three six so here we have to put zero because we cannot cross the number two three four then here is 232 two again. And then let's see if we want to rate to the 234, then we have to add or we have to collect number two. So we have to put here one. And finally, we have raised to the exact number what we were looking for. And this will be the zero. So this is exactly the number. How can we convert? decimal into binary so as we say it the binary is called the number of computer that can read and decimal the number which is really possible for the people to remember so that's the end of this conversion binary decimal to binary let's see let's type and heading Uh, decimal to binary. Now, as we have got the number decimal to binary, 
So it is more easier to convert into the binary to decimal. Like um, in all octets, we will add a few more numbers like uh, one, one, zero, one, zero, one, one. How many? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like we can add another more one. Okay. So let's see, this is the exactly binary number. As we have said that uh, computer can understand properly and computer can read. So this is the binary number. Like it. Now it is our turn to convert it into the decimal. So this sequence, like 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, one eight for two on this has to be in our mind and that has to be memor memorized properly if we want to get the results or answer correctly within short time let's see 128 64 32 16 8 4 two one okay so if you go through this way that means from the left to right then you have to minus the same number from the last number that you have got like 128 if we uh, just try to minus 64 from 128 then we will get 64 and again if we do minus or if we do release 32 from 64 then the result should be 32 and if we go through the same way if we do the same then we will get 16 after being minus of 16 and then we will get 8 whenever we will minus or when we will release 8 from 16 and 4 from 8 it means 4 2 from 4 means 2 and one from two means two so if we do multiply then the result or if we do add then the result will be same that means one then one plus on two two plus two four four plus four eight eight plus eight sixteen sixteen plus sixteen thirty two thirty two plus thirty two what sixty four 64 plus 64, 128. So this has to be in our mind if we want to get the results within the short time or within in a very short time. Let's see. So now we have got uh, a bunch of one and zeros. Okay. So how will we count this one as decimal okay so one means 120 okay let's uh put the number by maintaining the sequence one 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 and zero then one and zero then one then one okay now it is our turn to get the exact number whenever we have got one here it means we have to put one okay so at the bottom of that one we will add 128 because we have got 128 to put and if we do get another one it means 64 so the result will be 192 and as we have got another one we have to include 32 with 192 it means 224 then we have got 0 and this 0 means 224 again there is no value and then we have got another one it means we have to include this 8 with 224 it means 62 then we have got another 0 that means 22 4 will be 232 will be added here there is no change 
and we have got another one it means two three four then the final one has to be added because here we have got the on from binary so two three five is the number that we have got it means the result for this one 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 zero one zero one one means two three five so this is what exactly we can do or we have already got so that's all right and that's the end of our this video but the point key point has to be memorized that uh, this sequence should be in your mind doesn't fact number can be more higher than this one like uh, it can be 1000 or it can be 5000 or it can be more than that it can be a millions to convert into the binary from the decimal like uh, you can uh, whenever you will get or we will get 1000 then we have to add another bit okay like we have got uh, 128 plus 128 that means two five six okay so from this 256 we will get another number that is about okay so 256 plus 256 it means 512 so after getting this 512 we will add 128 because the number already exists 64 32 16 8 4 2 1 okay that's all right now we can convert thousands easily because to reach into the thousand we need one that means five one two is valuable here and if we to get or if we add 256 with 5 on 2, then the number will be almost closer to 1000. Like here we can add another 1. So this 1 here. And if we want to reach to the 1000, that is our final destination, then we must maybe need 128 to. Then we have to put 1 here. That means we have got 896, which is not crossed thousands. Okay, now it is our time to add 64 because after adding 64, we will get 64. So the uh, put here 64. Then after adding 64, we have got 960. And to reach into the thousand, now we need 32 too, because after adding 32, we will get 992. If we do add 16 with this number that we have got, which is called 992, then it will be over thousands. Okay, so here we have to put zero. Now we just need number eight because we have raised into the 992. So we will put on here and then all will be zero because we have got the desired number. So this is what you can do using binary to decimal or decimal to binary. Then we will have hexadecimal to binary or hexadecimal to decimal. So let's wait for that video. I hope you have got your point or you have got everything that you wanted to uh, read. And I hope you enjoyed this video to learn. And if you find any mistake, please pardon me. And if you do get any kind of question regarding conversion of binary to decimal, decimal to binary, then I'll be waiting here to greet you at any time. So thank you so very much for watching this video. Bye-bye.